One of the most fundamental aspects of life is the temporary nature of everything, with a past we can never change and a future that is always uncertain. You would think that a theory that explained the universe as a continuum of continuous energy exchange relative to the atoms of the periodic table would be the most logical way of explaining this. We would have new photon oscillations or vibrations continuously coming into existence relative to the atoms of the periodic table. This would form what we see and feel as a period of time or continuum of time. The atoms would form standing waves in time with the spontaneous absorption and emission of light photon energy forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life. With the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forming a blank canvas that we can interact with. Therefore we have the potential to turn the possible into the actual. This can be in the form of art or poetry. Within such a process we would have an uncertain future unfolding relative to the energy of our own actions and we would measure this process as a period of time. But such a theory is very difficult to comprehend. I believe there are three main reasons for this. The first reason why this is so difficult to comprehend is because of the great diversity of atoms within the periodic table and their ability to bond together. This transforms what is basically quite a simple universal process into something almost incomprehensible. Water is a perfect example of this, with hydrogen bonds forming and breaking, with the exchange of photon energy as the future unfolds photon by photon relative to the energy or temperature of the flowing water. This is a totally interactive process and just a change in temperature can form a totally different outcome. This can be seen with different environmental temperatures forming an infinity of snowflake diversity with no two snowflakes being the same. Another example is the complexity of cell life with the movement and organization of positive and negative charge relative to the structure of life. Photon energy is the carrier of the electromagnetic force and forms the movement of positive and negative charge. Therefore we see the same process unfolding relative to cell life. Plant life is the simplest form of this with plant growth being relative to photon energy from the Sun. The second reason why this is so difficult to comprehend is because each individual is an integral interactive part of this universal process. With the nature of conscious awareness always being in the moment of now, in the center of its own reference frame, therefore each one of us has our own unique personal view of the universe, being able to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. This distorts the overall linear nature of time. This can be seen best in experiments like the delayed choice experiment and the two slit experiment with the future unfolding photon by photon within the reference frame of the experiment relative to the actions of the individual experimenter. This can be in turning on or off an electronic detector interacting with the reference frame of the experiment. The third reason why the process explained in this theory is so difficult to comprehend is because of the nature of plasma. At higher temperatures the atoms of the periodic table break up and the movement of positive and negative charge is extended over larger areas in the form of plasma. This can be as large as an individual star or even a large area of interstellar space. But the same universal process is at work with the future coming into existence relative to the structure of the plasma instead of the atoms of the periodic table. A similar process seems to unfold in our everyday life with the future rapidly unfolding relative to the position and temperature of fire. 
But fire is relative to the atoms, with chemical bonds breaking and forming, releasing photon energy, as the future comes into existence relative to the position and temperature of the process. The same universal process can be seen at the smallest level of the process that forms digestion and rusting, with the future unfolding at a much slower rate, photon by photon. In such a theory, the mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a three-dimensional geometrical process, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. At the smallest scale of this process, the future uncertainty of everyday life is represented mathematically by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, with the Planck constant being a constant of action in the geometrical process that we see and feel as the passage of time. In this theory, gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. This can be seen mathematically with both the electromagnetic force and the gravitational force sharing the inverse square law. The electromagnetic force forms the effect of a dynamic ether. The outward momentum of light or photon energy forms the inward force of gravity as a process of continuous creation or energy exchange. Objects form the curvature of their own space-time vortex relative to their energy and momentum and an aspect of this is the time dilation of relativity. Objects seem to just free fall towards the greatest energy, but it is a process of continuous creation or energy exchange radiating outwards that forms the inward force of gravity. The main effect this process of energy exchange has on us is the aging process, but above all this is a creative process and because it is relative to the atoms of the periodic table, and we are made of atoms, I like to think of this process as an infinity of possibilities in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory that is outside of mainstream physics.